guys and welcome to my channel and today we're doing another mod review except for if you notice down below or maybe the thumbnail of this um, that we are doing a pack of laundry day mods so I went through and I found a mod that I needed for another save file and while I was there I kind of just browsed around uh, the creators page and I found some more mods that I thought would be very interesting and then I was like why don't I check to see how many different laundry mods there are just so you know there is currently six laundry mods available on the sim mod the sims dot info and they will all be linked down below with timestamps in case you want to just check out one and not another um, so we're actually gonna start this uh, review with a bit of um a bit of a kind of a test of how it all works so since there is so many uh, mods uh, I'm gonna quickly go over their titles here so this way you can kind of know what you're getting yourself into and we will be going through them hopefully in this order um, should be anyway uh, but we will see we'll go through um, the last the last one I'm not actually going to test, but I will talk about it so we can get some information in case you're finding you're still having a big problem in your game. So that first mod that we're going to be going over is No Laundry Piles. This is the first one I discovered by this creator. Her name is Polar Bear Sims. She's available on modthesims.info. And again, like I said, the mods will be linked down below. So you can just hop on over there in case you're interested in any of these mods. Um, so No Laundry Piles. So this one says, after she created her moody laundry piles, had a request to make one so no laundry piles were formed after Sims change clothes, regardless of their age, mood, or traits. There will not be laundry piles. So we're gonna test that one. Next is up next up is moody laundry piles. So what this means is essentially there is different different reasons why your Sims will just drop laundry piles and some of those reasons are that they're lazy or a slob. I know there's a couple of other ones, but I'm not quite sure what all they are. Um, so anyway, so this one also factors in their moodlets and um, um, if you have, what's it called? Parenthood, <laughs> it also um, factors in a couple of those traits as well. So with this one, um, it says this mod will vary on if a sim leaves a pile of laundry based on their mood. So if a family oriented sim is always picking up their laundry, when that sim is having a bad day, they'll leave it on the floor. Those moods include depressed, angry, stressed, sad, dazed, enraged, furious, gloomier, gloomy, miserable, mortified, and tense. So any of those moods that your sims will have, they will literally just drop their clothes on the floor instead of picking them up and taking them to the hamper. Now, traits, these are 100% as of right now. Um, the creator hopes to adjust that percentage. So this way maybe it's only 90% of the time or only 40% of the time, that sort of thing. Cause then I'm sure they could also adjust other traits as well, not just uh, these ones. From parenthood, um, irresponsible, bad manners, uh, both of those will drop laundry piles, those traits. Um, childhood phases of rebellious and mean streak will also drop laundry. And then the last two traits are lazy and slob. Those ones have always dropped laundry. Alrighty, so next up we have larger hamper capacity. So Max's EA makes the hamper capable for 20 clothing piles, which is fairly reasonable. Um, a Sims change clothing far more frequently than we do in real life. That means it's too easy to get a full hamper even in a not so big household. So this one says, I'm really tired of doing the laundry every day. So this one says, let's do some modding and no suffering. So the mod affects an extra large hamper with the capacity of 100 piles of laundry. Oh my God, that's, that's a lot of laundry. Of course, of, of course, for all of these mods, you will have to have laundry day installed in order for them to work properly. Um, next is less frequent laundry day idols. So if you notice that your Sims, when they do laundry, they'll generally tend to get a couple of different idling motions. Um, and it says here that one of them is that Sims will brush or pick off laundry or pick up lint. And then the other one, uh, the other idol is that they will straighten out their clothing. Uh, so this one makes it so this way um, 
there's only a chance of it happening once per the buff that you get from laundry. So they have four versions, 100% that it will happen once per buff, 50% uh, that it will happen once per buff, 25%, and then 5%. Um, those, are all, um, those are all in different files, this way you can just pick, and it does say version 1, 2, 3, or 4, so you can just come here to the description. 1 is 100% and 4 is 5%. Uh, next up is daily maid service, no laundry. So, um, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but especially when, um, if you have a maid, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is convenient for them to do laundry, um, but it doesn't really work. Um, so what I mean by that is that the, the maid will put the laundry in, but like I'm sure lots of humans do, like actual people, they'll put the laundry in first, then go do something else. Once the laundry's done, they'll move it to the dryer, go do something else, then they'll come and retrieve the clothing. Maids typically don't do that. Typically, they'll put something in the washer, go do something, put it in the dryer, maybe load another load of laundry, and then leave. So they don't actually complete those interactions. Plus, if you added any um, additives to the washing machine, it would not actually uh, use the additives in the washing machine. So you didn't get those additional buffs. And lastly, what we have is less laundry fires. Um, personally, I haven't noticed a very large... Um, I noticed that the chances of your clothing catching on fire from a dryer have actually gone down from when they first released Laundry Day. So I don't know if they realized that was a problem as well. Um, or maybe they just lowered it just cause, but I noticed my sims would almost always catch on fire due to laundry. Except for the sims I didn't want to catch on fire. Then they definitely did. And if I did want them to catch on fire, they didn't. So, that's not the point here though. Um, that one's going to be a little bit more difficult to test. Um, but that is linked down below. In case you are still having a big problem, maybe your sims are very unfortunate. Um, maybe this maybe this, this mod probably would have been very helpful in that get to work episode where, um, uh, Alexis kind of kept setting herself on fire from the dryer to the point of where I said screw them they're getting a line uh, a drying line that's how often she set herself on fire I've never had it happen that frequently though so if you notice in your save file you're having a problem download this mod it takes it down to 10% instead of 55% alrighty guys so I have the mod installed and you can see here I have laid out a hundred pieces of clothing um, I had the basket there it was full and this is um i had to do some testing for the no no laundry piles mod that's the one i'm testing here first um if it kind of seems like i should be talking and why this is kind of sped up um apparently i decided to record all this footage but not uh, record any sound good job me so now we're here <laughs> anyway and so um you'll see here that even after i installed the mod there still was a clothing pile so if your sims laundry baskets are full if there's no washer um that sort of thing they're still going to drop clothing piles regardless um which i thought it's not necessarily that it was misleading it's just the mod was not what i thought it was um i thought it would still either cancel those interactions or um i'm not i'm not really quite sure what i was expecting that's not exactly what I was expecting but I did drop another laundry mat or another laundry basket had him go change clothes again and it did work properly so so long as you do actually have a working or an empty hamper the clothes will go into the hamper regardless of traits and then after this one we end up testing the moody the moody laundry piles mod um, with this one it it was pretty good I would say um, because pretty much, uh, this is when I reloaded the game. I discovered the fact that the maid had, in fact, done the laundry, by the way. So, even though I have the mod installed that said, uh, what was it called? It was called Daily Maid Services No Laundry. Um, unfortunately, they still had laundry. So, it really didn't help the situation any. So, it... 
they still they still ended up taking care of the laundry and then charged me for the laundry, which kind of irked me a little bit. But I was like, all right, whatever. Um, so here's where we're doing the moody laundry piles. So his sister was always really good about picking up her clothing. Um, would always get into the hamper. So so long as you have a negative moodlet, um, for the most part, they will end up dropping their clothes where they are. Um, which is uh, shown here by when she actually goes and takes a nap. Um, both this mod and the no laundry piles, the moody laundry piles and the no laundry piles, were both by Polar Bear Sims. And then after that, we're going to actually end up kind of talking a little bit about the, um, which one is it? The larger hamper capacity and the daily made services. Now, both of them are made by different people. The daily made services, no laundry is made by D. N. Martin. And then the larger hamper capacity is by Egurin. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, go ahead and uh, feel free to... Uh, Correct me. <laughs> um, or it was, it's probably like E-Jurin or something. I don't know. Um, so all the, the mood and laundry pile works perfectly fine. If your sim has a negative moodlet or it, there's also a couple other traits which are listed on the page. I also discussed them earlier in this video. Um, if they have any of those traits or things, it will still end up triggering it. So here is our daily our daily made cleaning. Um, this mod, it will allow you to also get maid services on Saturdays and Sundays, but you can clearly see here, she went there and she picked up all the laundry. Now there's a little bit of a cutscene because it kind of takes a long time for her to pick it all up. Um, and she still puts it into the washing machine, which I kind of thought was the whole purpose of this mod was that they don't interact with the washing machine. And I think what happened is I think they missed the file where they can pick up laundry still and put it in the washing machine. Um, cause she did not pick it up and put it in the hamper, which would have been perfectly fine by me. Like, fine, fair enough. You're picking it up, putting it where it goes. Um, that still did not work. So, um, oh, and she started the dryer. I just saw that. She literally started the, the dryer. Um, I mean, it was, honestly, at this point, I can't recommend the daily maid services, no laundry mod, if you really want the truth. I, I just, I can't because it's not. There's still too many loopholes. Now, if they release an update and it ends up working out great, I mean that's awesome. And oh, but also with this pack, with this mod, um, you no longer get charged the twenty dollars for the base made services. Um, it goes strictly off just the hourly wage for them. And so I had to lay out even more clothing piles so we could have our um, have our main sim here go and pick them all up. <laughs> um, so he was able to take care of a little bit of the laundry. Um, and then I also looked for the, <clears throat> the idols, which is the second to last mod that we have here. So here I am putting out more clothing piles for this. I tried to just at least put out more than 20 because 20 is what you can fit in a laundry basket. And so if you can at least, if you can fit more than 20 in there, then that's great. Then the mod does exactly what it's supposed to do. And the larger capacity mod again was by Egure. All the links are down below in the comments or in the description box. Um, the less frequent laundry day idols um, is by Fom Fomimi. Um, I'm not quite sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but with that mod, it's it's kind of. I don't know if it's just because it was already toned down, um, but I never realized, like, the I never noticed the idols when um, Sims would just stand there. Like, I don't, it, it doesn't really bother me, like, what they do, because people do that on a regular basis. I don't know if it's just because I work with the generalized public, and I just don't care. Uh, but for the idols, they don't bother me at all. If watching your sim have the laundry idols, because there's two different ones that they can do, which is a straightening out of their clothing or picking up lint off the clothing. Um, I tried to see if I could find the buff. I couldn't. But the good news is he just put this laundry away, so he automatically ended up getting a good boost um, as soon as he's out of the shower. And so I watched him the entire four sim hours he had it. I did give it the 100 per I picked up the 100% version and I never noticed it. So 
if if it was there before and if it had a higher chance, then it's definitely not there now. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, and then the last the last mod actually was the lesser dryer, less laundry fires. Um, again, that's a lot harder to test. Um, as you can see, when we were trying to test out our fire our uh, fire mods, we were kind of having some trouble setting things on fire. Um, so if you are having an issue with with um, with fire from your laundry mats, go ahead, download the mod, give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. Um, but for as of right now, my personal thoughts on all of these mods is that for no laundry piles, it's to me it's not worth it, so I don't recommend it. Um, for moody laundry piles, if you like that kind of thing, it's definitely worth it. It works. It works exactly as expected. Um, larger hamper capacity. If you have a lot of sims, that definitely comes in handy because then you don't have to worry about your hampers getting as full and especially if you're playing with a lot of sims at once, um, that definitely makes it really difficult. Um, but, big thumbs up, you could definitely hold 100 pieces of laundry in there. Um, then the last, or the less frequent laundry day idols, um, personally, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do have a problem with what your sims are doing while they're idling, you do you, you go for it. Um, daily maid services, no laundry, there's still quite a few bugs to be worked out, so for me, it's not worth it, I can't recommend it. And then lastly, less laundry fires, um, I didn't test it personally, but it does take you down from the original 55% down to 10% for fires. So if you're having a lot of laundry fires, definitely download it, give it a try. Um, and see if that helps you. Again, all those links are down below in that description box. And if you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. This way I know what you guys like watching. And uh, if you liked it, definitely make sure you subscribe. This way you can catch more videos just like this one. Uh, definitely leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions down below. Have you tried any of these mods? Or are you a mod creator? If so, definitely leave your information down below. I love uh, having creators involved and being able to give them first-hand experience. Um, all my social media is in that description box. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.